is Monday. Welcome to the first day of the September part two vlog. It's 5.42 p.m. and things have finally calmed down, but I just had so much work to do. I turned in my rough cut for my 24 hours in New York video, and then I filmed this fall makeup look, which I am rocking right now. I love it. I just feel like it really goes well with the bangs. This fall makeup look is due tomorrow, so I'm gonna spend pretty much the entire evening editing this guy. Also, I got metal straws finally! You guys proud of me? It's something I've been wanting to get for the longest time because I like drinking out of straws because I don't want to stain my teeth and I drink a lot of coffee, a lot of tea, so uh, the straw really helps. But anyway, I'm gonna continue to chug along and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I'm just taking a little break from editing and I wanted to show you guys the gifts that I got at the housewarming party. Ben and I threw one uh, last week, I think? Yeah, and everyone like brought gifts and it was so nice. I like really wasn't expecting it. We had never seen our house that full. There was over 50 people in our house and it was cool going to like every story of our place, seeing everybody like get along and hanging out and just having a good time. And I just wanted to showcase the gifts that I got because they were just so thoughtful. So the first item is this. This is a picture frame that my friend Jonathan gave me. I think this is my 25th birthday. And these are all my high school friends. I've known Brienne since I was five though, or six. I met her in the first grade and we're still friends today. But it's so cute, I love it. The second gift I have is this Palo Santo. I believe this is kind of like sage and you're supposed to like light it up and it's supposed to, I don't know, get rid of any demons or bad juju in the house. Palo Santo literally means holy wood. Shamans and healers traditionally burn it for its energetic purification and healing attributes much like sage. Bingo. This is from Teresa. She couldn't physically be here, but Vu made sure to give this to us. So thanks, Teresa. This next gift is from Sophia. She got us this beautiful chip bowl. Me and Ben are always hosting parties, so this is gonna be great to, you know, put the, the chips and then put the guac in here. This is gorgeous. It looks like a hat. Okay, and then she also got Ben this apron. Ben's always cooking and splattering stuff, so this is gonna be perfect for him when he cooks. And it also looks like a really cute dress. <laughs> now for Stephanie's gift. She got us this beautiful aloe vera plant. Um, unfortunately, this is the only pot we have to fit it. And I feel like it's going to outgrow this pot pretty soon. But it looks awesome if we ever get sunburn or... Yeah, if we ever get sunburned, we can chop it off and put the aloe vera all over the wound. So this is awesome. And it just looks like a work of art. It kind of looks like something from Beetlejuice, huh? The next gift is from Whaley and Wa. They got me this beautiful diffuser. Um, I'm gonna open it actually. I'm so excited. I love things that just make the house smell nice, you know? They got me this beautiful diffuser. They got me this soy candle. Uh, it's called Dawn Cube. Thank you guys. I might as well just feature all the other candles, but this is a candle that Emily got me and Ben. This one is for Ben actually, because she chose the more masculine scent for him. This one is vanilla husk and sandalwood, and it definitely smells, it just smells like a man, but like a good man. This next candle, I do not know who got for me because it didn't have a card, but this is a Kush candle, so there's cannabis in here. But, well, oh, <laughs> it doesn't smell like it at all. It just smells more like, like tulip actually, tulip and amber. Next up, I have these coasters from Jolene. Thank you so much. These are just beautiful marble coasters in this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, octagon shape. And I've got four of them, so this is gonna be great for saving my countertops. Then from Andrea, she gave me this gorgeous orchid plant. It's holding up pretty well. I'm very surprised. And my battery's about to die, so let me go change that. I believe this is also from Andrea, but I haven't opened it yet. Oh, okay, oops, I forgot to show you guys the packaging. She taped a little sprig of lavender on it. Oh, nice, okay. And she got me this huge torpedo of sage. <laughs> But yeah, I believe you're supposed to burn this and it's supposed to purify the space as well. Thank you, Andrea! Alright, so this gift is from Aaron and Jamie and I believe it's one of his prints. So excited to see this. Wow. Whoa! Cool! Oh my god, this is so freaking sick. 
I love Aaron Kai's work and it's very colorful, psychedelic and shroomy. I can't wait to hang this up somewhere. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much, you guys. And I also have one last gift. This is from Rebecca. We already framed it on the wall, but it is a photo that she took at our engagement party. And it is amazing. It finally replaced the Flying Lotus flyer that I've had since college. So this is a lot more sentimental. So thank you so much, Becca. And then we also got a ton of alcohol. So we're pretty much stashed for, you know, probably the end of the year. So Ben went grocery shopping today and he brought back something that we normally don't have in the cabinet. He got a wild card item, which are everything bagels. And I haven't had a bagel, or haven't like had bagels in the house since I was like a kid. I actually like got too excited and I ate half of it while it was still cold. Mm. Mm. For tonight's menu, Ben is making shrimp tacos. Very excited about this. Usually we do uh, tilapia fish, mm -hmm. shrimp today. We got some guac, we got some uh, a yogurt and sriracha, Ooh. some cabbage, some cilantro, and a glass of white wine. How many avocados did you use for the guac? One. Wow. Bang for your buck, guys. Bang for your buck. Don't know if we like the yogurt, but we'll see. We've got so many sauces, so actually, there's some sriracha in here, the green sauce as well. Three shrimp seems like the perfect amount. This is the finished shrimp taco. Really? <laughs> Make a touch. Turns out the Stanley is quite the comedy fan. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Cheeky. Oh my god. Look what just came in the mail. This is from Ashley and Van Ann. And this is the biggest bouquet of flowers I've ever seen in my entire life. Jesus. It's so big! So on top there's a giant bouquet. And underneath, there's like this water tank with orchids inside. And then there's rocks and sand. And this is from my favorite flower shop, The Empty Vase. It's Wednesday. I'm doing the exact same thing as I did yesterday, working. Um, yesterday, Ben and I filmed our Google Assistant video. Uh, I tried to vlog, but that whole video is a vlog in itself. So that's why there's just a gap. Um, today, I am just finishing up the last touches. Um, I am feeling good though because I am checking off everything off my list. There's nothing more satisfying than checking boxes off. I haven't been to the gym in a little bit, so I'm kind of feeling a little cabin fevery. Later on, I'm gonna go get dinner with my family for my early birthday dinner. We're gonna have Korean food. What a shock! Honestly, my mom genuinely doesn't like any other food besides Korean, and that just mind boggles me. Like even, she doesn't even like pizza. She, she likes spaghetti and steak. Um, I took her to Boiling Point one time, which is like my favorite hot pot place. I was watching her eat the soup and it was just so underwhelming for her. And it's just freaking bizarre, man. I think it's because when she was a kid, she really didn't have anything other than Korean food. But the thing is, even food that I didn't eat growing up, I still like. For example, I didn't have Indian food until I was maybe 18. I didn't have dim sum until I was 19 and that, you know, that's obviously one of my favorite foods. So I don't know, maybe it's like a preference thing. What do you guys think? Do you, is your favorite food something that you grew up with or is it something that you just had later on in your life? All right, little update. It is two o'clock. I am going to the gym. It is the last thing I wanna do, but I haven't been to the gym in like five days and my brain can really use some endorphins and I know I really don't want to go but I know after I'm gonna feel amazing and I'm gonna wash my hair and I'm gonna have fresh hair for today so let's go I'm gonna bring this little vlogging camera okay I'm off
Yeah. Ah, I feel like a new woman. Oh my gosh, this is literally the best feeling ever. How do you feel after you take a shower? I'm just gonna get a white tooth comb and I'm just gonna start brushing my hair out a little bit, just so it's not too tangled. And then I'm just gonna get, it's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. And I'm just gonna spray this all over. I just like this because it doesn't get all over my hands and it's just super easy to use. So now I'm just gonna show you guys what I do with my bangs. Ah, they're already so long. Don't kill me, Anna. My bangs are still a mystery to style. Okay, I'm just gonna let that calm down. The best drink in the world. LaCroix. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. I just got this new Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette and it is gorgeous. It kind of just looks like, oh, okay, thank God. I didn't want to dig my nail into the shadows like I did with the Fenty Beauty highlighter. I didn't. They even categorized the different eyeshadow looks that you can do. So this one is day eye, desk eye, date eye, and disco eye. I don't know what is calling my name though. I think I'm just gonna hop around and see what happens. Does being exceptional require an exceptional amount of work? By Cal Newport of calnewport.com. Here we are at Mr. Pulsam. There's my brother James. Virgo season. <laughs> Hi, Appa. Hi, Anbasio. <laughs> There's Oma. Hi. And then yours truly. Hi, guys. Very happy. We are here for my early birthday dinner. This is the only time we all had a space to meet up, so we did. And we're here at Mr. Pulsam, which is one of my favorite restaurants in Koreatown. The service is kind of eh, but the food is so immaculate. The cheese and the Oh God, I'm so Hi, are you full? Yeah, we're two very full boys. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday with the crap. See. One, two, three, four. Happy Chippo? Cheeky got this one for mummy. Oh. Wow, you wrapped it so well, Cheeky. Well done, Chippo. Oh. And now you set it. Oh. It's another Chippo. It's another Chippo! Oh my god! She loves her. Oh. Chippo. Oh. Looking <laughs> right for the neck. Uh, right for the <laughs> neck. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hey, everybody. We're in the car. On our way to Big Bear for mm -hmm. this one's birthday. Happy birthday. Thank ah. you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, we are on our way to Big Bear right now. I've got Grum in the back, Ben driving, and then Chippo. He's a good girl. I'm dropping her off at my parents' house because they're watching her for the weekend while we're gone. And I'm so excited. The weekend Let officially starts now. Mm -hmm. yes. Woo! Woohoo! And out. And out. out. That's what a hamburger's all about. 
It's sponsored by In and Out. <laughs> oh, <I wish. laughs> Cheers, guys. Ah, she gave a Cheers. Happy birthday, Neil. Thank you. Oh, it's so happy. Two, two of these in like a week. I'm happy with that. Mm. Dude, In and Out is always a must when you drive out of LA. Pretty much every time we leave LA. Always. When you go in and out of LA, go no. to In and Out. Right. Honestly, this is even better than the photos. It has such a nice rustic cabin vibe. It's crazy that this is only like two hours away from LA. It's insane, but I'm so excited. Let me show you around before everybody gets here. This is the kitchen area, lots of seating options for people. Let's head outside. What do we got here? I made it in my very first try. Really? Cornwall? Yeah, I was like, whoosh! And then I was <laughs> like, nobody saw that. Ooh. Get it. Ah! Oh. Yeah. And then the creepy uh shed. That's Stephanie's room. <laughs> Just kidding. What's in it? I didn't even I bet it. it's floaties. <laughs> oh my god, actually Whoa. So often we really need it. <laughs> Cheers everybody. Straight, straight uphill. Yeah, straight up. Nothing but up. <laughs> ah, the fresh air. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Feels good out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. We just finished our hike. Mm -hmm. We climbed on so many rocks today. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. great. Good job, good job, good job. Hi everybody, it is Wednesday. It has been several days since I last picked up the camera. Uh, I came back from Big Bear, I guess on Sunday, and I had such an incredible time there. I didn't vlog too much. I think some people got like bits and pieces, but I wasn't doing like my normal vlogging because I just wanted to go there, unplug, unwind, and just be with the closest people in my life. When I came back from the mountain, I was just, I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but after like a big, big fun trip, when you come home, you're just kind of like, Oh, like it, it's just sad that it's all over. So I think I was just kind of decompressing and just coming to terms that it's over. I was looking forward to this trip this entire month. But yeah, that was one of the best birthdays of my life and it was just, it was nice. It was, it was very intimate and it was nice to just get away from the city. Today Ben and I are heading to the beach. I just wanted to have like a really chill day because I feel like the past Honestly, like the past year, I have been constantly on the go, and so I just kind of wanted something fun and relaxing and serene. I haven't been to an LA beach this entire summer, so I thought that, I don't know, 
Might as well squeeze it in during this month before it gets too cold. We are taking cheeky and it's gonna be really exciting. I just cut up some Korean pears and then I'm just gonna get ready. We are at the dog beach. Rosie's dog beach mm -hmm. in Long Beach. <laughs> Rosie's dog, dog beach in Long Beach. It's our first time here. It's really nice. We wanted yeah. to have a nice date day, go to the beach, and this is the closest one to us that dogs are allowed. Everybody, this is as recent as you'll see me. I'm about to add this clip in and then export the video. So I just wanted to pop in and thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Sunday and I'll see you guys in the comment section. <laughs> Bye.